It is the 20th of the 10th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I've got a lot of volcano activity going on today, but we're going to start on Scott.net. Magma stirring under Sierraville, California, in ongoing quake storm. Uh, apparently, a swarm of over 700 quakes has hit the area. Uh, they're not high magnitudes, uh, but the scientists are definitely saying this is a log uh, magma movement. Uh, close to the surface, uh, less than one kilometer. And uh, experts are concerned with abnormal seismic activity in the Azores Islands. Uh, this is where the African, the European, and the North American plate meet in the Atlantic Ocean. Again, another highly uh, uh, volcanic area. Um, they're saying the seismic activity might be, uh, again, magma flow on the move. And out of uh, Bolivia, rapidly inflating volcano creates growing mystery. Uh, apparently they think they have a super volcano uh, on the grow. Uh, this, this mountain is uh, <coughs> swelling um, at alarming rates and uh, they're definitely looking into this uh, Sudden winter weather causes nightmare in Bulgaria. And uh, this is going on with the storm system as far as I was reporting last night out of Italy kind of thing. And already into the harsh winter. Yeah, people getting snowed in and 600 villages without power. And uh, surfs up in Chicago, uh, 20 to 25 foot waves are forecast for Chicago today. High wind warnings go into effect for the Chicago area Wednesday afternoon, and the city should see waves of up to 25 feet along the city's Lake Michigan's coast. Gust up to 60 miles an hour could lead up to a replay of the high waves that knocked down runners and bikers last month along the lakefront. Chicago police closed the lakefront path that day, and Wednesday they again warned people to stay away. Uh, so definitely got some high winds going on in the Chicago area and uh, surf is up for sure. Uh, we've got some homes damaged uh, by a likely tornado in Florida. Uh, they're saying it sounded like a train heading into the side of the house. Uh, that definitely sounds like a tornado to me. West Broward County in southern Florida Wednesday. And a spat of quakes around Mount Rainier, another volcano in Washington State. Uh, there's been a spat of earthquakes around the Mount Rainier in the recent weeks, but that isn't a concern. Um, they're saying it's normal, but he says scientists are watching the volcano closer because of two quakes recorded on Friday. The first was a 3-4 uh, that struck west of the mountain. Uh, near Ashford and it was followed an hour later by a 2-9 quake under the volcano. Uh, so Mount Rainier is definitely still plugging along. Um, the only thing different on the extinction protocol today we got going on uh, parts of Japan now rendered uninhabitable zones due to Fukushima. Uh, they're saying this is within the <coughs> The local area, they're just finding alarming rates of um, radioactivity, and uh, some of these people not, might not be able to move back home ever. Uh, and there's a video attached on that. And uh, what else? Over 700 dead in Southeast Asia floods. Uh, this story comes out of Bangkok. Over 700 people have been killed and 8 million affected by heavy flooding across Southeast Asia, the United Nations said on Tuesday, adding that it stood ready to provide humanitarian relief. Uh, and if you Google Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and the UN relief effort there, uh, you'll see what kind of quality care uh, the United Nations brings to the poor people of this planet. And finally, I'm going to put a little bit out of Fukushima, or uh, Tokyo actually, uh, TEPCO subsidiary selected to burn disaster debris um, from a um, platform in Tokyo Bay. It uh, goes on, now everyone will know that the con contractor who will burn the burnable part of the disaster, radioactive debris, 
from uh, Macayo City in Iowa Prefecture is a subsidiary of TEPCO called Tokyo Waterfront Recycle Power Company. Located, in, located on the very landfill on Tokyo Bay that the radioactive debris and ashes will be burned. So uh, the insanity continues that is Japan. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Um, I was going to go down to the um, Occupy Des Moines uh, thing going on here, uh, downtown Des Moines. Um, my wife informed me this morning that on the radio they've uh, packed up their tents and uh, moved on. I'm not 100% sure about this movement yet, so I don't know if I would want to get involved. I will attach uh, a couple of videos out of Des Moines today. Uh, they were acting up downtown, putting on quite a little show. And, uh, of course, I will attach that video below if you want to check that out, what's going on here uh, down the street from my house. So enjoy what you can, and uh, thanks for your support, everybody. Good night.